Hey guys, welcome back. We are here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. We are here on a big weekend. It's Memorial Day weekend. A lot of things have changed with masks and regulations for social distancing, so we're going to let you know the latest so that you're ready for the next big holiday weekend, which is right around the corner. It's 4th of July. So let's go. Gondolas are on. That's yeah. one thing we have to check out. They said that there's no social distancing now between the gondolas. You can seat up to 10 people there. Wow, I kind of liked having my own gondola. Yeah. I want to see how many people they fit in there. We'll have to go after we're done with Hollywood to the Riviera for like a lunch snack and then we'll see if they put more than one party inside each gondola. And if you have to wear masks. Oh yeah, I think you have to wear your mask in there because it's considered like an attraction. So I would assume you have to keep your mask on. We'll have to find out. Wow, first big difference. There's no temperature checks. I guess I can take this off. There's no temperature checks. Usually there's a big section here. There is kind of a line though, I guess for security. I guess we'll have to see how long this takes us. This is a security line. But no temp checks. Yeah, you just walk right through. But no one's really doing social distancing here. There's no markers on the floor. Okay. I see everyone walking out. About 20% with masks on. Okay, something new that they have is called Disney Magic Mobile. And basically, you go to the app and you select it. So we're adding the passes to the wallet. Just do yeah, mine yeah, then. Yeah. All right, we're gonna try it. We just downloaded it to our Apple wallet, right. and now we have to put the phone next to the reader when you come in. Oh, hi. It worked. You didn't have to touch it, right? I didn't have to touch anything. I just put it right next to it, and then it turned green. Good. Cool. So if you forget your magic band, you can use this instead. I don't think you can use this to pay just yet. It's only for photo pass and to enter the park right now. Alright, I guess I can take off my mask. So there are some people still wearing their masks, but quite a few are not. I think if you're vaccinated, you can take off I say off majority your of people yeah. are not wearing masks, regardless of age. Well, it is really hot out here, so I'm not surprised about that. But in your outdoors, indoors you have to wear your mask inside a restaurant or any of the attractions. But outdoors, if you want, you can go without your mask. Well, the good thing about having no masks now is that you can walk around with your food and your drink before you had to stop somewhere. But now you can just essentially walk wherever you'd like and you have your food and it's more convenient. It's more free. I'm leaving mine on because I'm still a little nervous, but I have to admit it is nice to take it off every now and then if there's not a lot of people around because it's just so hot. Florida weather is just horrible during the spring and the summer. Right now there's actually some clouds so it's not that bad but it is just horrible to wear a mask in this heat. Taking off the mask definitely helps. The one thing I don't really like about Hollywood is that there's not a lot of places to eat and there's not much to do if you're not doing Star Wars, right now at least. So like the commissary is one place to eat and then the pizza place across from Muppets and then there's like one other place. But that's it, there's not really m many options for you to eat. That's, that's, why, why, that's why we recommend the Riviera. Yeah, that's why we end up going to the Riviera. Check that video, we'll link it down in the description below. Yeah. So the crowds are not that bad for it being a holiday weekend, I have to say. Yeah. The wait times are decent, but the crowds are not crazy, yeah, which is nice. Surprised. I've there's, been here on a regular weekend and it's crazy. Yeah, I think they're slowly going to start increasing the capacity over the next few months is what I was reading, but right now it still looks like it's at a fairly low level. What would you say, like 25, 30, 35% at most? I'd say, say it's about 38.5% capacity right now. <laughs> But it doesn't even look that packed. It doesn't feel uncomfortable at all. We can yeah. walk and there's plenty of yeah. room. You can social distance yourself. Yeah, there's still that level of social distancing yeah. for sure. Boarding to the Star Wars Rise of the Resistance, there's no like dots on the floor for social distancing. They're all gone. This used to be a relaxation station, but they took it away because there's no need for it now that everyone could go without a mask. And this line over here used to wrap around this whole building and now it's right here. Yeah. Let's see how it is inside. They used to like one or two parties in per store. Maybe they're letting more people in. There are markers here for the marketplace on the floor, so you have to do something. Is that Chewy down there? It's at least a Wookiee. There's an old R2 unit over there. 
the barbecue. They should sell that barbecue. People will buy that like crazy. You buy you'll buy that? <laughs> so it's two parties per shop. You have to leave your mask on inside the store. You can pick which one you want to go to. Mask on at all indoor locations. Alright, we're one of two parties in the shop. A lot of people won't read the instructions though. <laughs> Try to get in front of us in the line. What is this guy in here? Is that a puppy? No. He's kind of scared. It's a cute little cat. I like that we have like the whole store to ourselves. That's cool. Ooh. You can hang that on you. Kind of cool. That's cool. Falcon. I like this bag. <laughs> this is cool. There's all the outfits. I wore this for Halloween. Just the belt is $60. An Ewok for $20. And a Chewbacca for $22.99. These are kind of oh, Those cute. are cool because they're unique. Yeah. Or you can get Leia. How much is Leia? Leia is $22.99. Or Doc on Dar, $22.99. Jar Jar, Jar Jar Binks, $22.99. Darth Maul, $22.99. Oh, we didn't see this one. Oh, these That's are cool. cool. That one's cool. So $22.99. $22 what was that? Boba Fett? Boba Fett. Oh, look over here. The first order Stormtrooper. First order Stormtrooper. Yeah, these are cool. These look like these look like uh, like old fashioned, old fashioned. like old fashioned. So toys. Dark Vader is how much? Twenty two ninety nine. Oh, we already saw that. One. Down here, we already saw that one. We already, we already, saw, already saw these. Okay. Oh, so look, they have the ch the board game. These are the cubes, chance cubes, nine ninety nine. How much is the board game? $49.99. Is this a music box? Yeah. $24.99. It's a Darth Vader theme. <laughs> Together, we can bring order to the galaxy. Look at this. A, bob a wooden doll. How much is that one? $39.99. These are cool. I like that one. I like this one. Let me see that one. Oh, that's cool. Too. This one oh, is marionettes. Like a, it's, like a it's like a puppet. This one's $49.99. Let's see. These are unique things right there. How much is that one? The wooden stormtrooper. $39.99. Looks kind of scary. Yeah, it is scary. It's like a skeleton. Oh, this is Mas Canada. Mas Canada. Oh, Ray. They have Ray. They have. Oh, yeah, we missed Ray. Kylo Ren. What's this guy's name? Ford. Ford. These are Ford. Nineteen ninety-nine. Yes. What is that? This moves. How much is that one? Twenty-four ninety-nine. That's cool. They're bringing both R two and C three P O. These are wooden things. These yeah, are wooden things. Wooden. Yeah, this that is cool because it has a cool. jetpack. Wooden wow, there's like no lines anywhere. The line for Smuggler's Run starts right in front of the ride. That's pretty good. Usually it wraps around like the whole land. And this is the line for that special photo. And, and there were like second in line. There's no one in front of us. 
Alright, so we're here. Kylo Ren is out and Stormtroopers are out. Not that packed. There's more Stormtroopers. Look, there are three of them over there. I can't believe it. There's like no one here. It's like a dream. Is this really a holiday weekend? It's crazy. It's like we have the whole park to ourselves. So Slinky Dog says 70 minutes, but usually it comes all the way out here when it's that long. So I think it's probably a lot less. I read somewhere that they do the wait times a little bit more than it really is so that you're pleasantly surprised when you go in. I'd say it's probably 40 minutes, if that. So this is the Star Cruiser. This is the new hotel that they're gonna be opening and you have to stay. It's like a two night experience and it's an all immersive adventure. This is what it's supposed to look like. It's supposed to be really expensive. Like really expensive. It's like a cruise ship. It's an all inclusive thing. And it's, you could probably just stay in there. They take it to Galaxy's Edge for an experience and come back. We're gonna go to another park. I mean, it wasn't that crowded here. I just wanna see what it's like somewhere else. So we're gonna park hop and see what the crowds are like at uh, maybe Magic Kingdom. But first we're gonna go to the Riviera and check out the gondolas to see if they do social distancing there. So we'll keep you posted. Okay, so we were by ourselves. It wasn't that busy, so they let us come by ourselves. I think it depends on how busy it is. Right now it's in the middle of the day, so it's not that busy, and so they let us come by ourselves, which is nice. So we had to switch and get onto a different gondola, and they asked us if we wanted to be with another party, and we said no. So I guess it's not that busy, so they asked. Thankfully, so they separated us, but I think when it's really packed, they don't give you that option and they just switch with another party. Okay, so we were here at the Riviera, got some food. They took out the chairs in the normal spot where we usually go, looking at the lake. Maybe because they're gonna have a movie night, so if there's another beach just on the other side of the pool that's kind of private, we'll eat there. So they took away the um, beach chairs where we were at last time. Check out that video, we'll link it down below. So now we found a second spot. Pretty good spot too. Alright, so we're at the fort and we're taking a bus directly to the Magic Kingdom. Okay, so we made it to Magic Kingdom. We park hopped and the crowds here are also really low. They're not that bad. We thought it'd be crazier because it's a holiday weekend, but I have to say, the crowds have been actually better than we, when we've come on a regular weekend. Um, I don't know what's going on. Maybe people are in different places for Memorial Day. I don't know how it's gonna be 4th of July. We'll probably come back and see, but right now it's pretty good. All right, so like, there's no wait times. Five minutes, five minutes, five minutes. Wow, 10 minutes. Not that bad. Pirates is 25. Uh, for a big thunder to have 20. It's not that bad. So everyone seems to be social distancing. A lot of people don't have their masks on, but that's okay because you don't need to. And it's not that crowded. Again, really great crowd levels today. I would say the majority of people don't have a mask on. Yeah. I would say 80% don't have masks on, 20% do. So there are markers on the floor here. So we didn't stop. It just went straight through. It's a walk on. So in the ride, most people followed the rules and wore their masks, but there was people that didn't. I mean, the people right behind us didn't have their masks on throughout the whole ride of Little Mermaid. And a cast member told them afterwards, "Oh, you have to have your mask on." And like, she didn't have the lady didn't have her mask. She had an umbrella, so she went like this <laughs> and put it over her mouth. Uh, you know. People don't care. Yeah, some people don't care. But for the most part, people were have, they did have their mask on inside the ride, which was good. This is so magical. There's like no one here. We have the whole park to ourselves. It's as if we had our own VIP tour. I mean, literally everything is such a short wait. Five, ten minutes. Big Thunder is 15 minutes. Yeah, man. Everyone should come here on a holiday weekend. <laughs> it's nice. And it was raining a little bit, so maybe people left. But I mean, it's sprinkling. It wasn't even raining that much. Well, there are markers on the floor here. So people follow social distancing there and there's no one behind us, so that's nice. So that was our day at Hollywood Studios and Magic Kingdom. We saw all the protocols. Essentially, you can wear your mask indoors. You have to wear your mask indoors. 
outside, you don't have to if you're vaccinated. And most of the people enjoyed not wearing their mask. And most people social distanced for the most part. And the crowds were not that bad for it being a holiday weekend. So it was a great trip all in all at two different parks. We saw the crowd levels were very low and it was a great time. So let us know, have you been to Disney since they've changed the regulations? And do you like it? Do you like all the, 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 the non-mask wearing and lessening of the social distancing? Comment down below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Please subscribe. Thank you.